Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here, and in this short video, I'm going to be answering a really interesting question I've heard asked by quite a few different business owners. I see people ask it online, and that's why are Google Ads so expensive? So if you've been thinking about running Google Ads for your business, or maybe you've already started running them, and you're sitting there going, yeah, why are these things just so expensive? Why does it cost so much to get people seeing my ads and clicking on them and you're just not really sure what's going on well hopefully this video will help you to understand where some of that cost and expense comes from and really you know change your thinking a little bit around how you should be approaching your google advertising and really online advertising in general uh, so the first thing to understand is the way Google Ads charges. So Google Ads generally, uh, you know, there are exceptions and you can do things different ways, but for most advertisers, especially DIY ones, you're probably paying per click, uh, you know, on search ads or display ads. Uh, if you're running um, YouTube advertising, it's a little bit different, you're generally paying per view. But basically you're paying per action. Uh, that's a bit different to something like, um, you know, radio or print advertising, for example, where you're actually paying for the sort of distribution of of that particular radio broadcast or that particular newspaper, uh, you know, or magazine, uh, it, it might be that you know that radio station can generally say we get uh, you know fifty thousand uh, listeners at you know uh, peak drive home time, uh, and we think the demographic split is you know sixty forty. Uh, male to female and we think it's you know ages 30 to 40 listen to this channel uh, or station predominantly there's all that sort of stuff you get but ultimately you're paying uh, really regardless of how many people take action uh, Google Ads is a little bit different as a rule you're actually paying when people click on those ads or, or view your videos so there's that element of sort of paying per action and if you're used to seeing advertising done a different way if you're used to seeing advertising sort of charged on that uh, you know, you're paying $5,000 for 50,000 people to hear your message. It can look a little bit different and almost a little bit sort of unnerving when you might say, hey, I've paid $3.50 for one person to click my ad. Uh, you know, that's quite expensive. But you've just got to think about it in a totally different sense because you're paying per action, uh, you know, unless you're doing custom or sort of more advanced targeting uh, where you can do some pay per impression type work. But generally you're going to be paying per click, paying per action. Uh, that pay per click advertising model just requires a slightly different mindset. So the first thing, if you're wondering why Google Ads are so expensive, is just to make sure you're in that right mindset that this isn't, you know, radio or print or TV advertising or anything like that. Uh, it's a very different advertising model. Now the second thing to understand understand is that you know the price you pay per click can vary depending on a whole bunch of different factors uh, it can vary you know from location to location it can vary uh, obviously from industry to industry it can vary based on your willingness to pay in the early days Google's ad system was much more uh, you know he who is willing to pay the most wins but obviously uh, over time they've evolved the system to take into account a whole bunch of different factors. So there's this concept of ad rank and I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because it's a bit dry and technical. But basically Google look at a whole load of factors when they determine who's going to show up in the ad slots for a given search. Uh, you know, so they look at the quality of the ad copy, the, the relevance of the ad copy to the user's search, the quality of the landing page experience, and also those competitive metrics around you know, how much are you willing to pay. You know, all things being equal, if I'm happy to pay $2 a click but my uh, competitor over the road is happy to pay $3 a click, he's probably going to get that premium position. He's going to get that edge over me. So that's why you need to understand, uh, you know, sort of roughly how the bidding system works in Google Ads. It's not all based off who's willing to pay the most, but there is an element of that. And then there's also these elements of, you know, really what's the quality of your advertising. As a general rule, if you can, you know, lift your click-through rate, improve your ad copy, improve the landing page experience, Google's you know, potentially going to reward you with reduced costs per click because your ad gets more coverage. They still make the same money uh, because, you know, they're getting more clicks at less cost per click, uh, but you wind up getting better performance out of your advertising. So bear that in mind. Uh, you know, if you're advertising a really, you know, competitive service uh, in a competitive location, you're going to just have to accept that Google Ads could cost you a lot of money in terms of that cost per click. So a classic example are industries like insurance or legal services where you can wind up paying some big bucks for ad clicks. You know, things like a you know, New York attorney, for example, you know, you could easily be looking at $30, $40, $50 cost per clicks, possibly even higher. But then if you're running a niche service out in, you know, maybe a sort of sparsely populated location that's not particularly competitive, you know, you might only be paying 10 or 20 cents a click. So there's a huge sort of 
gulf uh, and huge disparity in performance and, and cost depending on your location and your industry and all those kinds of things. So it's important to understand that. And that really links on to my next point and actually the most important point. And that's, you know, the perception of Google Ads as being expensive can be a little bit warped uh, if you don't understand the potential value you could get out of them. So we'll use insurance as an example, right? You know, if I jump online and, and, and search car insurance New Zealand, there's a whole bunch of New Zealand car insurers willing to insure my vehicle and wanting to buy for my business. Now, I don't know exactly what they would pay per click if I clicked on one of those ads, but you know, it would probably be into the double digits, you know, possibly even mid double digits. I mean, I would imagine some pretty expensive cost per click. Uh, you know, same with your, you know, insurance and, and you know, surgeons and all those kinds of things, uh, depending on where you live. Uh, I'll leave some resources in the video description that, that go into more detail about which industries are most expensive but they're a really interesting case study because you might be sitting there thinking man why would anyone pay you know 10 20 30 dollars a click on an ad because that person might not turn into business and that's a totally fair point but these advertisers often bigger ones or more experienced ones what they're really focused on is the value the ROI they get so if I'm you know an insurance company here in New Zealand and maybe I've got to pay you $10 per click, let's just assume $10 per click uh, on you know ads for people searching for car insurance in New Zealand, but I know that I convert one in every 10 of those clicks. Basically, it's costing me $100 per conversion. Now, a conversion, you know, that, let's just say that that's someone who actually comes on and um, successfully signs up to an insurance plan. Now, obviously, there's probably more complicated maths than that going on in the background, but we've basically established that I pay 10 bucks a click. For every 10 clicks I get, I usually get one sale. Now, what happens if the lifetime value of a insurance customer, a car insurance customer for my business is, you know, $1,000? Okay, I've spent 100 bucks, $100 to make that sale, but you know, on average, one of those sales is worth $1,000 to my business. Well, suddenly that cost of $100 to win that business, it's not too bad, is it? It's actually a pretty good deal. I'm, I'm spending $100 to make $1,000. And in some of these higher value industries, especially, uh, you know, you can be seeing multiples much greater than that. You know, you might have to spend $1,000, but if you make $100,000 off, uh, you know, each one of those $1,000 sales, and obviously, you know, we're sort of extracting things down to their uh, pure numbers here, but that's a great deal. That's a fantastic deal. There's good value, uh, you know, especially, uh, you know, if you start really focusing on the ROI side of things. And so that's, I guess, you know, long story short, where I'm really trying to go with this video is don't think of Google Ads as being expensive necessarily. Think of it as being more about the ROI you get. You know, you might get one cent clicks, but if you can't convert any of them, Basically, it's worthless. It's a waste of money. On the other hand, if you spend a hundred dollars a click, but you're on average making you know five hundred or a thousand or two thousand dollars out of each of those clicks, and you're able to measure that, hey, that's a fantastic deal. That's actually a really good deal for your business. Uh, you know, especially the higher those ROI numbers start to climb. So it's not just about the sort of sticker price. It's actually about the value you get out of it. Uh, you know. It, Basically, it's all about ROI. Uh, Google ads are expensive if your ROI is poor. Google ads are a great deal. They're good value for money if you've got a strong ROI. When you start thinking about the platform in that manner, uh, it starts to make a whole lot more sense, uh, you know, why some advertisers are willing to pay what seems like quite a lot of money for people to click their ads. Because, you know, probably if they're doing a good job at measuring and managing and optimizing, they know that they're actually getting really good value for money for their business. So hopefully this explanation of, of you know, whether or not Google ads are expensive makes sense. The key thing to remember is that what you pay is going to vary depending on a whole lot of factors like, uh, you know, location and, and industry and, and your willingness to pay. Uh, ultimately, it's all about competition. And then also, uh, you know, it all comes down at the end of the day to value. If you can spend a dollar to make $10, it's a good deal. If you're spending a dollar but you're never making anything or you're only making 50 cents, it's not a good deal and that makes Google Ads very expensive. So, you know, long story short, stop thinking about price so much and think about ROI and value and that will allow you to think better around how your business can actually benefit from Google advertising and paid advertising online in general. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you'd like any more advice, uh, please leave a question. You can email me on info at samfrost.co.nz. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.